You see that guy right there? That's me. My name is Wayne Washington Jr. And this is my documentary. I'm a personal trainer in Arlington, Virginia, one of the fittest cities in America. How did I get here? Let's go back. I've been an athlete as far as I can remember. I was a skinny, short kid growing up. And it didn't matter what I ate, I was lean. My parents were lean. Obesity was never a thought. I played football, I ran track, but I always was in love with basketball. From high school going into college, I had a pretty impressive growth spurt, and I also gained significant muscle. I was gaining weight, but not fat. I was training myself to be the best athlete possible. After college, I tried out a couple things. Coaching high school basketball, managing a sales team at a gym, but something told me to become a personal trainer. And that's what I did. It allowed me to utilize my unique skill set of coaching, sales, and art. Not until I was an adult did I realize I could gain fat if I didn't make the right food choices and remain active. For the first time ever, I faced the possibility of being fat. I've had small weight loss journeys of my own, but nothing extreme. Nothing similar to the battles my clients face. But enough about me. Let's meet my friend Ernest. Ernest grew up about 20 minutes south of me. Although Ernest was pretty active, he slowly gained weight as he aged. He ate for comfort and didn't understand portion control. By college, he was well over 300 pounds. Lucky for Ernest, his weight had yet to cause any medical issues. Soon he was married. I was even the best man in his wedding. Fast forward, and look, we had both become fathers. In a short amount of time, we now had more to live for than just ourselves. This is Ernest at 400 pounds. As a friend and a fitness professional, I had to say something. Here I am helping strangers improve their lives while one of my best friends was slowly dying. That didn't make sense. I had always encouraged him to make changes, but now I was concerned about how much longer he'd be alive. We had a great heart-to-heart -heart talk and Ernest decided to make a change. He wanted to be there for his family and live a better quality of life. Not only did Ernest begin to make changes, but his wife, Cressetta, joined him on the journey. They began to eat healthier meals and made exercise a priority. Over 100 pounds later, Ernest had created long-term, sustainable lifestyle changes and people started to notice. They wanted to know how he did it. This led to us creating the Stronger Inside podcast. As Ernest continued his fitness journey, he became a role model and a beacon of hope for others. In a way, the student had become the master, and I believed it was time for us to help more people. That's how the 100 Pounds Down Club was born. In the summer of 2020, in a pandemic, we found three individuals ready for change. We trained and coached them for over four months. This is our story. The 100 Pounds Down program is a program designed to help you overcome obesity and change your lifestyle from the inside out. And really, we're gonna teach you habits and give you the tools to sustain them. This is not something that's temporary. This is not a detox or a cleanse. This is a lifestyle change. 
tough. This program is built upon three principles, okay? Tough love, accountability, live to live. Those are the three principles of the 100 Pounds Down program. Zoom meeting, the process. Yes. How's we going? Oh, me? Oh, good. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. Going good. I see you prepare your food. Yeah, uh, man. I've been actually changed my eating habit probably for about a month now since July. <laughs> yeah. So you're already kind of on track with what you've been doing. Uh, yeah, just feel like probably need a little bit more advice on what to eat. I've been like jotting everything down on my um, uh, one of my health apps I have, and I noticed that I've been doing a lot of carbs. <laughs> like, oh, okay. now we'll we'll definitely get to that. Uh, this first process, this first part, we just really want to. Uh, establish everything and get the get the habits in order, which you've already kind of taken control of, but then just everything goes in order. So we don't want to kind of jump over. Uh, yeah. So really, I mean, from what you've been posting this week, again, there's no right or wrong right now, but again, those are all good options. I mean, you're eating real food from your house. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, some of the food that the others post, they look good, man. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like... <laughs> It looked good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to do a run over what we're going to do Saturday. Um, that way we can kind of have you guys on the right. I guess everything to run smoothly. So uh, I was able to read the form that you filled out. And, I mean, I, I knew most of that stuff anyway, but uh, we're, we're going to go from there. Uh, we're going to do a couple different parts. Uh, since this is the first day, we're going to do um, the body scanner. We're going to do scale. Um, we're going to get to set you up with the whoop bands so that you guys can have those before we start the first workout. And then you can uh, make sure you have good understanding and have it synced up with your phone before going into the next week. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to do a blood pressure reading. And then also, then after that, we'll go into the lecture part, classroom part, where you know I'll go over some stuff. Ernest will go over some stuff. Um, so we're not doing any workouts then. We're just going to do no, like, we are. everything we are. we are. We are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then after, after that, because um, I have that room for 90 minutes, uh, again, I want to do as many outside workouts as possible. Uh, so me and Ernest haven't finalized the workout yet that we're going to do but again because it's the first time us uh, seeing you guys for the most part we're going to do i'm going to do some assessment stuff with you in terms of dynamic movements and make sure that you know all your movement patterns are right there's no injuries or anything like that not just going to throw you into something crazy and haven't seen you move in a long yeah. time or even ever for some of the other guys so <laughs> yeah. Burpees, let's go. exactly oh uh, so, yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're gonna we're gonna go over that and then uh and then we'll do it. We'll do a workout. Uh, again, I want to do as much outside stuff as possible, so we won't be in the gym for that. And then uh, yeah. probably, I'm thinking, weather permitting, um, one of those outside fields, probably at Washington Lee or something like that. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Um, I have a question though. Um, when I was filling out the the questionnaire, I forgot to put something down. So occasionally, my back intends to go out, like just randomly. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's something, like, maybe if I'm doing maybe, like, not stretching properly or whatever, but I intend to get, like, sort of, like, back pains on my back here and there. So I don't know if I need to 
you need to note that down or anything or okay yeah yeah we'll, we'll note that we'll talk a little bit more about that and then uh definitely yeah. uh, keep keep an eye on it okay. yeah does it, does it like it like tightens up on you or it's like goes, goes numb a little bit or uh it's like i don't even know how to explain it probably like a bunch of just like shooting pains <laughs> out like uh -huh. on my lower back yeah it's like yeah. nothing new it's does it go down out. the leg uh nah there's times where I can't even move. You know, I've called off work probably like for three, four days because of my back pain. But it it stops in the lower back. It doesn't go down the leg or to the foot. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe like towards like my butt crack area. You know, like okay. around there. Okay. Like yeah. Okay. But, okay. We'll keep an eye on that. And make sure that you know that doesn't happen again, or really try to make sure we work around that. But I think with a lot of the things we're going to be doing, you should see less of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Sound good. Yes, sir. You ready to? And I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I, I've been I ready tell, when man. you when you told me back like in July or so, June. <laughs> in July, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man. But based based on your pictures, man, and you know how you kind of attacked, you know, the the first task of filling out the questionnaire and taking the pictures and being proactive with, you know, make sure you submit yourself, man. I can tell already that you're ready to go, man. So, um, you, you know, we uh, I think I think all three of you guys are gonna are gonna be successful. But I, I see I see something a little different in you, Caesar. So, um, you know, uh, I know you're gonna I know you're gonna be great, man. So, yeah. keep, keep 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 the same uh, enthusiasm you have. Keep the same, bring the same amount of energy you have uh, every day, even when we're not together on the Zoom or on the weekends or whatever. Bring that energy to your workouts. Bring energy to what you're what you're eating and things like that. You can be great. Oh yeah, thanks, man. I'm trying. I feel like yeah, this pandemic has been bad, but I don't know. For me, it's been sort of good, man. I've like I don't even drink as much no more and <laughs> or go out, man. So it's like yeah, right. what else? What else to do but <laughs> to work out, right? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah right. Hopefully, I get there too, man. So my that's my goal. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I want you to. I want you to get to where I'm at, and I want you to pass me by, man. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> I'll try, man. I'll try my best, man. That's one yeah. of. See, one of my weaknesses is like is like I could do the things. It's just I don't know. Like I always intend to like. I guess like give up. You know, <laughs> it's like it'll be too hard for me. Right. It's like hopefully you guys come in and. <laughs> and well, like I said, motivate me. <laughs> that, that's that's the difference. Uh, not even just working with me, but just the program as a whole to where Ernest is here. Uh, the other two guys that you're going to do this with, uh, Corey, Mike, they're here to where you guys get to build a friendship as well, you know, to where it's not just me talking to the three of you as a group, but you guys either holding yourselves accountable and then kind of just building that, you know, maybe a silent competition in between each other. But just, again, just having other parties involved. To where this is this is five five guys involved it's not just you and your running shoes and it's very easy to just call it a day or you know <laughs> say, i don't want to do it today right this is this yeah. is whole, whole uh process and whole group that's committed to making sure that everybody's successful so the the whole part of you know you worrying about not being able to follow through this is not going to be there i mean for somebody to not be successful in this group it would just they would just outright have to quit they would just have to stop showing up there's no way you could show up through this and not <laughs> not be successful it's just not you know, and that's the interesting part about it all right yeah sounds good what's up man yo you hear me what's up how you doing what's up you all good Good man, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. Oh. How you been? How was your day? Um, it was good. It was productive. I still got some stuff I got to work on, but it is what it is. So again, a big part of this process is going to be measuring. You know, we're going to have the metrics. We're going to have data. We're going to make sure that we are going to be able to prove at the end of this that on multiple levels, why we're doing what we're doing works. Okay, so. Uh, of course, we're gonna hop on the scale. We're gonna do the body. Uh, <laughs> why are you shaking your head, man? So, 
We gonna do the body scan? I already know, man. I'm the size of the damn equator, man. We don't need to weigh my big ass. Oh, uh, we do. Yes, it's gonna be good for you. Everything's for a reason, all right? Yeah, so, man. Uh, so, uh, you know what the you know what you know what the number is already? Probably a thousand. Okay. Well. <laughs> You look good for a thousand. <laughs> yeah, you, look, you look real good for a G. It's like, it's like well, Mike, you might be right. You know, you wear, you wear it well. It's yeah, a for a stack, you, yeah, you hold it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thousand muscle. pounds, dog. <laughs> all, all muscle. No. Right. It's gotta be. Nah, and and, and uh, the number one reason we want is so that those feelings don't even come up when the word scale or weighing myself. But it will, you're gonna be to a point where that doesn't even happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and it's gonna be uncomfortable at first. It's all good though. So then we're gonna do the body scan. That's what we had on the last time we talked about it, where it's gonna do <laughs> the measurements and be able to see your accurate body fat percentage. Uh, then we're gonna get you set up with the whoop bands when we talked about. Now, uh, the one that you said you can't wear at work, which is fine, but- Only, just, only on Mondays. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but that's going to be, I mean, that's going to be big for you because I really want to be able to monitor the quality of sleep you're getting, okay? So that's why that's going to be really important for you. So Ooh, by, by, quality by, of sleep, Wayne? I know, Ooh. that's why we're doing it. <laughs> so yeah, us being I, able look, to- if I get, let, me get, let me throw this out here. Let, let me just throw this out here. Yo, I be using the bathroom a lot at night, man. Like, yeah. My sleep patterns are crazy, and then with the sleep apnea compounded on that, man. So this is gonna help. This is gonna help you show you that you know not only is your body fat percentage going down, not only is your body changing, but you're getting better rest. This is this this program is gonna help you get to a point where you're you're sleeping better at night. You're sleeping long for longer durations. You know you're hitting that REM sleep. Where, you know uh -huh. you're, you're that deep sleep, so that's why that's what that's what this is about. So this is the scales to measure your 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 weight. You know the scans is to measure your your body fat percentage and bone density and muscle mass and all that stuff. And this whoop is going to help measure uh, internal things that we can't see with the naked eye. You know. Okay. Yep. Yep. Just giving you okay. some, some some better things. So uh, once we get set up with the whoop man. Uh, and again, if you can't wear it at work, it's fine. It's fine. But again, we got to pop it back on, especially in the evening, especially if you're going for walks or whatever, we got programs. So uh, we'll get you set up with that. Then after that, then after all that, we'll go work out and get a sweat going, okay? So as you can see, that's the priority level of this, of this program. It's education, support, habit building, working, nutrition, working out. Because when you have all those other things in order, the working okay. out is the easy part, okay? Mm -hmm. I like it. Sounds good. Yeah. We, uh, this, first, this first session, again, is to set the standard, kind of, again, getting pushing you, you guys a little bit out that comfort zone, adding some new information, and then taking those initial steps so we can get the ball rolling. Okay. So the attire. So uh, what do you want to wear for the body scan? Oh yeah, so when we do the body scan, because it is taking the measurements, well, we need you to have uh, like compression shorts or like boxer briefs because it's taking the leg measurements and we can't have like baggy boxers because then it's gonna be thrown off. Does that make sense? All right, I'm good, I got all that. Yep, good, good, good. So we'll knock that out. I got, I got, out I, I got like a body suit, you know? <laughs> Your Aquaman. Oh, yeah. Right. Scuba right. Steve. <laughs> oh, Scuba Steve. He's like, he's like, right, right. I'm like, Mike, you going, you going snorkeling or something? <laughs> yeah, but for that, just if do you have just the shorts version? Because we want to go kind of like like beach attire to where it's, it's shirt off and then just, Ooh. The, uh, yep. Ooh, shirt off. Oh, um. <laughs> Your shirt, your shirt is off right now, Mike. <laughs> exactly. But see, Wayne, I'm Wayne E. I'm in the privacy of my own home. No, you're you looking you. at you're, you're looking at the area I want y'all to see. Okay. You're in my home now. <laughs> now you're in my home. <laughs> you know what I'm your saying? Shirt, so I'm, your shirt I'm, is off right now. <laughs> I know my shirt is off right now. This is all the women see too. Just up here. You know. So yeah, I we'll we'll, we'll get there. But uh. 
I got, I can, I can, I can, um, I got stuff for that. The stuff that uh, I, I feel like uh, I might have to add in, and I'll shoot you a message on that. Uh, what I do ask, we're all busy. We all have a lot of stuff going on. When we, when it comes to these, uh, these type forms, you know, the, the, the questionnaires and things like that, that I'm sending out, please treat it like a college class because it's only going to help you more. Okay. So if we kind of skim through it and yep, 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 you know, two words here or there, you're uh -huh. not really getting the full benefit of it. So make sure that, you know, we, we go in there and give multiple sentences and really look at it that way and say, this is for me. Right. So really, okay. so just really keep that in mind going forward. Cause there's going to be some more of that. And I think, again, that's going to be another benefit of this program. For okay. My bad. I know you're going, you're going from with that. I got you. Yep. Yo, because unfortunately, this, this is the process. And Ernest will tell you this because this is what his mentality was. It's workout, workout, workout. What type of workouts are you doing? What type of workouts? You know, it's kind of like that's and, – and that's typical and normal. Um, but, again, that's going to be such a small part of this that we got to realign our focus and say, you know, habit-based, what are they asking me to do? And that's going to – that's not going to come secondary to workout. It's the other way around. Right. It, and, you know, Ernest fought it. He fought it for a while. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it was, it was, I got my workout saying, well, what you eat, huh? <laughs> what, you, what you talking about? Or just about? even the small stuff, like, hey, yeah. build this out. Hey, take your progress picture. Hey, right. do this. Did mm -hmm. you stretch? It was, it was all the things that I don't think is important because I'm just going to work out hard and burn it all off. And right. that's not how it works. So just keeping that in mind is going to help you get there, all right? Yeah. yeah. Not a problem. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, I think we all uh, – we talked to Caesar yesterday, just got off with Corey. Uh, we think we're all set. Everybody's kind of on the same page. So Saturday will be fun, man. So just – again, remember, we're documenting this whole progress process. You're going you're gonna to be excited with the end result. It might be a little uncomfortable at first, but guess what? When you, when you kind of get to November, December, and you're like, all right, it was worth it. It was worth it. And you're going to want to see that. You're going to want to compare what it, what it used to look like. Do you honestly believe with this program, I can lose, I'm just asking, that 100 pounds by December, I could be down 100 pounds by December? Close. It depends. Close. And if you get to 76, will it matter? No, it won't. Exactly. There you go. I think ten pounds is even even a blessing in itself. So hey, that's that's what it's all about, man. The, yeah. And one thing, one thing. So, oh, let me cut you off. What is what is in place to do is put you in position to continue, and then who knows by January, February, maybe is when you cross the hundred pound mark. Makes sense. Yep. Because at some point you gotta go fly by yourself, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yep. And that's when you that's when you'll cross it, man. If not with us. Definitely. And I, one one thing one thing we uh you know that we go through is having pe having a mentality where you feel like, you know, I failed at this before. How can I overcome my previous failures and things like that? Don't worry about that. We're here. This is a, this is why we're here to be that support system for you, to be that motivation for you. This is why you, the other guys are here to be that motivation, that support system for you. And so, success is starting and continuing, right? So, hundred pounds is not success, right? Because if, if if a hundred, because uh, if you don't reach that goal, but you reach seventy six, you didn't fail, right? And also, you're gonna you, and like Wayne said, we're we're doing this so that we can continue on. So you can continue on where we build those habits and where this becomes part of your lifestyle. And now you're not only are you feeding into yourself, but now it's feeding into your family members, into, into your lady who wants to work out, into your, your aunts, into your, your cousins and whoever else sees you and sees that transformation in you. Now you're feeding into them, right? So Wayne, Wayne sold into me and now we're sowing into you three. And then you three are going to sow into, you know, countless more people. So success is in that. That's where the success is. So um, I want you to get to the 100 pounds. I want you to get to 
So whatever, whatever in your mind is that ideal body weight for you, I want you to get there. Um, it's not, it, it, it probably won't be in four months, that ideal body weight that you have, that ideal body fat percentage that, that we're going to lay out for you. That's not going to, that's probably not going to be in December, but it's in your future. If you continue on, if we continue to build those habits in those, in that, uh, uh, in that structure in your lifestyle. And, and I think we can, we can do that in four months. If you, you know, lean in, uh, and fully commit to this, that could be definitely something where, you know, it, it's going to be a habit for you. It's going to be something where you are, uh, you're willing and wanting to do it every morning when you wake up, you want to be consistent with it because every, nothing else at the end of the day, your health is by far the most important thing asset that you have. Yeah. Number one, because if you're laid up in a hospital bed, you know, who's going to be, um, moving those logistics and supplies around the office, somebody else. They, and they're not, they're not going to be worried about, they'll send you a car, they'll send you a basket, but they're going to, they're going to fill that. Somebody else is going to fill your position because your health, just because you, because whatever reason you're in the hospital bed, because your health isn't right. But if you're healthy and you're putting forth an effort and you're doing the things necessary, you know, that's what, that's what winning is. That's what longevity is. Right. So we want you to be around here. So you see your grandkids, and your grandkids, grandkids, you know what I'm saying? We want, we want family members to be, to be able to, I want you to look at pictures of you right now in 20 years and be like, I don't even know who that cat was. I couldn't even, I couldn't imagine. I want your kids to see that picture and be like, daddy, that was you? <laughs> like, that's, that's what, that's what this is about. We want to, we want to transform you. We want to make you um, healthier, fitter, you know, not a better person because you're a great person already. So this is not going to change your personality. It's not going to change those things about you because you, you're going to be who you are. But we want you to be a healthier version of who you are. Well, you sold me on that. Damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it, it takes some time, like I said. And all, is, all it's going to take is time mm -hmm. and the willingness to be uncomfortable. And everything else we'll take care of the rest. Everything else will fall in place. And, and that's really the hardest things. And those are the two things that we fall short of when we try to do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't push ourselves out of our comfort zone because there's nobody to do it. There's nobody looking if we don't do it. And then, mm -hmm. we, and then time-wise, we can stop or I'll uh, get back to it. I'll start Monday. But within this program and within you have four other people with you, those two aren't a problem. So we're good to go, man. Okay. Keep posting the food pictures. Uh, we really appreciate that. That's a, one, again, that's a big uh, part of the process for you. Just to, because think about when's the last time you really seen what you ate in a week right in front of you? Ever. <laughs> there we go. So this wasn't for me to be like, I'm spying on you. This was a, a process for you to say, this is what I'm doing and I can actually look at it in front of me. So a lot of things are going to have that double, double edged, uh, uh, meaning behind it for you to, to, for your benefit. And then also for me to help you. Okay. It, okay. It's never to, to, to just see, you know, to be nosy or whatever it may feel. And I know you guys didn't say that or anything, but I'm just, I just want you to know up front that again, you're always going to learn from part of this process and the things I'm asking you to do. Yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, I'm. I want to. I want to ultimately do better because I don't want to keep. I know I've said this to myself over the years, but I want to get out of eating like fast food anyway. So it's just, it's not good. My mom be tearing me. And when I say mom, I don't think y'all ever knew this. My mom, I called her my grandmother, that raised me. You know, really don't want me eating that stuff. She, she actually has choice words for it. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. We're going uh, to make, we make her happy, man. We're going to make her proud. They're they try, they, they trying to kill you, man. I told her, no, look, Ernest, I already told you, man. Like, they, I, when I told them that, I was like, Ernest got me in this program, y'all. And they were like, they, every day they've been asking me, all right, so when do you start working out with Ernest? I'm like, well, it's, it, it was supposed to be last weekend initially. And then um, I was like, it, they, we actually pushed it the next weekend, which is this weekend coming up. So. They've been asking me, so it's so not like that. something. Look at that! Really... 
those that is a support system and those people are saying we care about you we care yeah. about your health and we're rooting for you so that's that's great that you have that man I, no, I, not, so not, I already not. said this already when we first had the, the icebreaker with you like like honest i i i have no reason for me not to do this so if you can do it and you're a married man with a with a child what's my excuse i'm not married i have no children so the only thing that's stopping me is me so at this point i need to make changes not only for the sleep apnea but for myself and you know lord willing if i still you know if he still has kids in my future so like you said you know 20 years ago i do 20 years from now i do want to be like who was that guy you know so good, good, good. Uh, all right i ain't gonna keep y'all up man thank you guys for the video i really do appreciate what y'all are doing um i'm ready i'm ready i'm i'm I, I'm not one for words. I'm, I'm a man of action. So I'm let's do it. All right, Mike. All right, fellas. So what? Um. So did did you not eat today, man? You gotta eat something, man. How you how you gonna be up all night with the baby, bro? My problem. My problem is, is isn't. I feel like. Oh, yeah, my problem is that I uh I don't eat all day, mm -hmm. and then I come home and I eat trash because I'll be mad hungry. Right. Like that's really what happens that's every what happens. day for me. Yeah. So I will when I get off, it might be like three, maybe four, and I may have like had a snack, and the snack isn't anything like crazy. But when I get off, I'm like, dog, I'm hungry. I don't right. feel like cooking. I don't I'm, feel like preparing anything. I'm, I'm about to just crush. Yeah, that's that's been my biggest, you know, what I'm saying issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what what, what was dinner tonight? Uh, in all honesty, I haven't eaten yet. Oh, so, you still haven't eaten all day? You still ain't eaten all day? So I did, I did eat a sandwich when I got home. And I all have right. the, I have the picture in my phone. I must not have uploaded it into the chat. That's on me. But I, I do plan on getting some after this. I know that's crazy. Like, mad late, but that's the truth. I mean, it's, I mean, you got to get, you got to get nutrients in your body. So the time of day doesn't really matter too much if, if you're eating the right stuff. But, you know, uh, you just got to get something in your body, man. But yeah, so I mean that this is normally like an everyday thing, and mm -hmm. I, so I know I gotta eat early and get more, more uh, eat regularly to get my metabolism moving. But this is normally how it goes. Okay. Seriously, I mean I'm not, I'm no. not joking. Seriously, no. how it goes for me. Yeah, so we, this is just something we gonna have to, you know, we have to, we have to work on getting better with it. But yeah, help no, Danny out, please, please. That's that's what this that's what this program is about, man. You know, changing those habits. And those things like that. So getting yeah. better, getting better habits. So you know, eventually you'll be, you know, you know, you're gonna have long days. So boom, I, I got to prep at night. So if you up late at night, you know, you got to cook at night. So you have lunch for tomorrow. You know, breakfast, yeah. lunch for tomorrow. And that way, you eating throughout the day. So when you come home, you got a little energy where you can prepare a quick dinner. You know, have some leftovers for tomorrow. Things like that. So, but yeah, yeah, it's all it's part of the process. Done. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah, done. that's the biggest thing. You yeah. Gotta yeah. Do it. Yeah. yeah, it's all part of the process. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, today we want to just kind of run down kind of what we're going to do on Saturday. Um, so, the only thing that I – um, and I said it in the questionnaire, but I have uh, nerve damage in my left hand. Yeah. So, I have – so, with weight exercise or things of that nature, with my right arm and right hand, I'm fully capable. My yeah. left hand, I'm just not. So yeah. that, that's the truth going into it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm just being, I don't so, know if that affects anything as far as a workout plan or anything like that, but. No, everything is, is to work work around you. Um, so send me, if you have some more specific information, you know, maybe with stuff that you've got from maybe PT or anything like that, uh, just shoot me that in a message or even in the email that you have, if that's easier. And then uh, that can give me a little bit more of a heads up going into it. But yeah, everything uh, we're gonna work around, okay? And then uh, for sure, access to to because again, we're gonna get you guys going with your own program uh, at home and stuff like that with the training. Um, what uh, access stuff do you have to? I I think just remember from what Karen was doing. Do you guys have like small dumbbells, a, like a light barbell? Um, 
I think we have small dumbbells downstairs. Okay. Um, we have a treadmill downstairs. We got other ways. I think we have dumbbells. Uh, kettle. I think we have a kettlebell downstairs. Right. Um, do we have any other stuff like weights downstairs, babe? Got a bar. Oh yeah, we got a bar. Okay, and then, yeah, I got one of those exercise balls too, right? One of those. Yeah, I believe so. Oh. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah, man, we got more than enough stuff, especially to get you started, get you rolling. Um, but this is giving me a better heads up on how to put together something for you to do within uh, during the week. Right. Good, good, good. So really, I mean, this process, like, uh, like Ernest said, again, it's just going to be building those habits, building those skills, and uh, kind of giving that small push out of the comfort zone. And then, again, I'll give you guys some light homework stuff. Again, just small stuff but it'll be related to whatever we're talking about that week. And then we'll be building those skills moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any uh, additional questions, concerns, anything like that? So with the, um, I guess with the workout plan, is it all seven days a week? We're going five days a week no, or, no. you know what I'm saying? We, we, so I want you guys to pretty much, if we would have, make a pie chart out of the importance of uh, or a hierarchy of what's important in this program. It's going to be nutrition, habits, structure in your environment, and then down here is going to be working out. So uh, it's, it's not about, we, we're not going to work, and this is something I've told Ernest, we can't out-train what we've been doing or our diet, we can't, we can't outwork it. So, you know, it's not about me trying to kill you every day or you pushing yourself beyond limits because again, all those other factors matter so much more. So, no, we're gonna put together something and especially the first week, ease you into it and then we'll build upon that, okay? All right, for sure. Yeah. An issue for you to get, get, the, get the work in, you know? Yes, let me ask, what, what are some things that you are, uh, that you're not able to do? Uh, so it's an old football injury, uh, to be honest. So I, I can't. Like Al Bundy. Like, oh, Al Bundy up. with the old Shut football up. injury. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Oh, Pope. Hi. You know, four touchdowns that game. <laughs> but <laughs> but now nah, I, can't, I can't grip anything with my left arm. Um, right. So it's basically, like, you know, I can hold things, but I can't necessarily, like, grip them. So the strength isn't there, you, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So we're talking about, like, wrapping my arms around a, a bar to, like, the dexterity and all that. It's just not there for me to be able to do that. Um, so that's really the only problem, I would say, as far as working out that I have. You okay. understand what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, so, like, free weights and all that, I just couldn't do with, like, the little machines and all that where I can just push. Yeah. Like, I, I can do that type of activity, if you're understanding what I'm saying. No, so it's not that – it's not like it's that much of a hindrance. I'm just letting you know up front, like – There's a certain that, thing. No, we just got to yeah. make adjustments. That's all. Yeah. Good. All right. So I, I'm super transparent, uh, sometimes to a fault, you know, but it is what it is. I'm letting you know what I'm, what I'm feeling or what, what's happening, you know what I mean? So, Absolutely not. Yeah. Well, I'm just letting you know. Better. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. I think I, I just wanted to run it by. Uh, make sure you get something to eat tonight, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, that's really how my normal day goes. So I want you to yeah. feel like I'm not posting. Like, literally, I get up, I'm at work, and if I if I grab something on my way out, I probably need to do a little bit better with time management, not <laughs> uh, just getting up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Um, just getting some more structure. Up. That's all. That's the big part of yeah, it. Yeah, so that's, the, that's probably the biggest thing. Like, I get up. And I'm flying out of the house to get to work. And so when I'm at work, uh, somebody may be like, oh, we're about to order something. I'll hop in on it. Or if not, I just work through. And when I leave, I'll get something to eat. But a lot of times, like, at that time, I'm hangry. I almost got a headache. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, all right, I'm just about to eat something. So that's literally what happened. Cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, man, we're excited. I'm excited. I know Ernest is excited. Um, but, yeah, this is something that I, I really enjoy doing this type of stuff. Again, this is my – Pretty much my, this is my full-time job, but this is a separate project on the side. And, you know, just again, being able to help somebody, you know, you, Caesar, Mike, we know, I know you guys loosely. I know Caesar a little bit me more. Too. But, me too. Yeah, and then Ernest as well. So again, this is just, 
this is something that's really going to be a very important process, fun process, and kind of fulfilling. So I'm looking forward to it, man. For sure. I, I am too. I, I am too. So, no. So, your daughter not your daughter not gonna know not gonna know this version of you, baby. <laughs> she ain't gonna remember this one. You know, that's the plan. You know. There we go. I know EJ look at old pictures of me. He be like, "That's that's daddy." <laughs> you know, I was like, "Yeah, that was me." Yeah. yeah. So, so he they start they're starting to fade away, but that's that's what we want to do, man. We want to be around for them for the long haul. For that's sure. That. Yeah, man. August eighth. Meeting one. All right, we're gonna do the first blood pressure, Ernest. One twenty-eight, ninety-two. Say it loud. One twenty-eight over ninety-two. All right. Cool. Two seventy-three point two. Two seventy one point four. It's like what I see, right? You just see what you feel, right? Yeah, what I feel and see and just feel unhealthy, obese, and shame. Seventy point six.
scared, ready, and motivated. Dedication, inspiration, ready.
Let's see what we tell. You done? Oh. Ah. Just lower the speed. stuff today man how you feeling uh i mean the workout was a little challenging but i, I, I pushed through it was cool yeah yeah uh was the last time you did a mile like that whether it be run walk jog um about a month ago I, wa I was walking i was trying to walk like two miles and i was taking so i was right on pace for what i've been about 20 minutes per mile uh, but i want to of course lower that time and even start to to jog without feeling like i'm about to <laughs> Die within a minute, so that that'd be good. Right? Okay. So okay, good, 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 good. Uh, what about uh, going back earlier in the day? Just kind of take me through how you felt throughout the day and how you feel now. I mean, from the beginning, I mean, I guess I was kind of anxious to see what, what it was going to be, what everything was going to be, and then as things uh, went on, I kind of eased into it. So mentally, it was, it was a lot better, if you understand what I'm saying. And so, yeah. Uh, from that standpoint, I I mean, I see where my starting point is, and now I know you know, where I want to be when I do it four months from now. Good, good. You got any uh any performance goals or just anything in mind that you kinda kinda eyeing? I wouldn't say necessarily performance. I just want to feel healthier. Um I wanna shed as much weight as I can. Um I, I wanna be able to um the big long term goal for me is to be here longer for my family. I know right now I can't do that. So I mean or the statistics say I I won't be able to do that. So I want to be able to um, uh, do that. Good, good, good. <laughs> All right, how you feel, man? Who? Wind it. Wind it. Wind it. Definitely gonna wake up sore tomorrow. Right? <laughs> yeah, I feel it. When's the last time you did a mile? <sighs> right, like just like today. Right, like more than a more than a walking pace. Ah, uh, probably like years. I don't. I did cycling. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know if that's the same or not, but yeah. Yeah, I did like cycling like for half an hour, so I don't know if that's the same or not. But a little, a little tougher, but you pushed yeah. yourself, man. So you got a little jog in there in between. Yeah, work in progress. <laughs> good, good. So uh, even prior to the uh, workout, just kind of take me how day one went for you, how you felt, and how you feel now. Uh, overall, I feel feel good. You know, like I said, I was winded, but you know what? After progress and all that, hopefully, I won't be as winded in my mile minute will go lower. That's definitely going to yeah. improve. That's <laughs> like, definitely going to improve. Um, what about everything else prior to that? You know, just kind of the whole process of the whole day. Uh, overall, good. 
Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Very Good. happy and excited to be in this journey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. What about the push-ups, planks? Ooh, push. <laughs> I got to work on that, man. I feel like I can't push my own weight right now. <laughs> but that's okay. definitely, yeah. Wait. Good. Do you have any uh, plans in your mind, long-term plans? What do you see for yourself in the next four months? Ooh, not to look like this, man. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you know, down in weight, down in weight size. Yeah. Hopefully, do actual uh, actual push up. You know. Okay. On Good. the floor. Coach Ernest. Hey. Coach Ernest. Yeah. Little, another role, still participating, but more of a, a, a leadership role. Right. And then, uh, you know, kind of helping out, facil facilitate this process. Um, Take me through how you felt about day one, what you've seen, and maybe what you could relate to because you had a day one. It just wasn't as structured as this. Right. So I think it was great having the guys come out, meet each other face to face for the first time in person. The camaraderie seemed like it was there, so that was good. No one was timid to, to do some of the things, some of the things that required them to take their shirts off you know, um, kind of just be in their boxers or uh, what have you in front of the other uh, participants. And so everyone was eager and willing to, to do everything. So I think that was the best part about it. Uh, no one pushed back on anything. Everyone gave it their all at, uh, for everything. So if it was a mental uh, challenge they had to get over, a mental hurdle they had to get over, or a physical hurdle they had to get over, everyone um, attacked it with enthusiasm and energy all day long. Uh, so for me, the things that uh, uh, what I could relate to with them was kind of that first time stepping on that scale, seeing that number, and then understanding that you are in this journey and you are going to you want to improve that number. I remember when I first stepped on the scale with you and I saw that number and I was like, ah, we got work to do. And I understood it. You know, I, I've been on scales before. Obviously, we've all been on scales before, but our mindset wasn't one where we knew we wanted, we were ready to make that change. Now everyone's ready to make that change. So stepping on that scale is a starting point. It doesn't determine who we are. It doesn't determine, you know, our self-worth or anything like that. It's where we're starting and we know we want to improve from there. So stepping on a scale and seeing that number and uh, kind of, kind of feeling their emotions as, a, as they go through that. Um, I could really relate to that. Good, 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 good. Uh, what do you see? for yourself and for the rest of the guys in the next uh, four months? So for me, I want to continue to improve. I want to continue to uh, go through the program that we've set forth for, for me. I want to continue to work with them because I, the goal for all of this is to be healthier, right? And so I'm not where I want to be. And so I need to continue to improve. So I want to work out with them as much as I can Every time that we're together and we work out, I'm going to be working out with, with the guys because I'm in this journey with them. I'm not, you know, work out with Wayne. I'm not, I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not, my body is not where I want it to be, where I'm at a maintain type of uh, um, workout program. So I want to continue to work. I want to continue to get better. I want to continue to motivate the guys as they work. Um, some, of the, some of the activities they're doing they're going to be doing i might be doing something different or, or maybe a, a modification of what they're doing but i want to be i want to be in the fight with them because i am i am them i was where they are i want to show them where they can get to and where they can be and where they can even surpass me at so um this is all about uh community building um building our brothers up and understand making sure they understand that we are in this together